if I was just sitting in my classroom, I would not have nearly, I wouldn't, probably wouldn't be in waders right now. Listening to actual professors talk about things and listening to their lectures, taking notes on them, and then seeing what they do in the field, it's really, really different from anything that I've done before because they're actually experts and they know what they're talking about and they can answer every question that I ask them. The Conservation Ambassador Program begins with a week-long field experience where students come to UConn, they get to sleep in the dorms, eating the dining halls, and really get a taste of that college experience and then they get to learn all about natural resources and environmental science from our professors in addition to graduate students, undergrad students, and other environmental professionals. It continually pushes me out of my comfort zone. We went on a long hike, which is not something I'm typically used to. We got hands-on with all the different activities we've done so far and getting to meet all the new people. We cover GIS and GPS technology, freshwater systems, green infrastructure, fisheries, forestry, wildlife, and soils, all within one week. Just seeing like the fish and the wildlife and all the different types of trees. The other day we went geocaching and ran around the campus. We also made maps. Uh, a lot of them have said, you know, they've never been out hiking, never been fishing, they don't really play with bugs, and watching them interact with the wildlife and with nature is fantastic. Seeing their joy uh, and happiness when they do it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to make so many friends so quick and I think that I'll be able to have lasting relationships with a lot of these people that you just don't commonly have. I never met her until I came here. Same as love. <laughs> it gets them not only out into the wild and into the forest and into the fields, uh, but it also pairs them up with their local communities so they can get involved at a local level with their own issues and problems and help fix those. So after the field experience is done, students go back into their own communities where they're paired up with a local conservation organization or community partner to design their own conservation project that addresses real issues in their own communities. I kind of see it as a way of I'm making an impact in my community so early on. I kind of like wanted to clean up the community and thought it would be a good idea for a project to do. There's a river that runs through my town and it's got a bunch of different ecosystems along it. And so I'm picking three locations and testing different variables at each site. It's hard when you're young to know exactly what you want to do. So exploring as much real life opportunities as you can is really important. Just being out here and seeing everything and doing things ourselves, that's um, really changing the way that I think about the field and um, really just the world in general.